What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. We have got the brand new Galaxy Watch Ultra right here and we all know that this comes in just one variant that is the LTE variant and there is no Bluetooth option on this watch. However, we can use this watch only in Bluetooth mode as well or we can activate the LTE to use this watch independently without having to uh, carry the phone around for your network connection on the watch. So we've got both the options on this watch. Use it as Bluetooth only or use it with the cellular connection. Now to get the cellular network on the watch you need to activate LTE and in this video that is what I'm going to show you how exactly you can activate LTE connection on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. Now whenever you're setting up the watch for the first time whenever you're connecting it with the uh, phone it will prompt you to activate the LTE you can directly do it there or let's say if you've skipped it you will be able to do it later as well. Now let's go ahead and open the wearable application. Uh, this is where we can activate LTE. You see the watch is connected here. It is showing me uh, Watch Ultra. The battery level is just 6% because I am testing the battery performance on this watch and I will be sharing the real life battery test results uh, in different settings very, very soon. So stay tuned for that video. Now let me just scroll down. You see we have got watch settings here. Let me tap on this. Now here, when you scroll down, you will see this option called mobile plans. Now this will show up only if you have a Galaxy Watch uh, which, is, which supports LTE. Now let me open or let me tap on mobile plans here. It says charge your watch and phone to at least 15% before adding a mobile plan. So I'll have to come back to you guys. I'll have to charge the watch for a few minutes and then let me just get back to you on this. Here we go. I have just charged the phone to about 17%. And uh, now let's take a look at uh, how exactly we can enable this LTE on the watch. Now let me just open the variable application again. Let's go to watch settings, tap on the mobile plans here. You see it says set up a mobile plan uh, to call, text and go online from your watch when your phone is not with you. So this means you will be able to use the watch independently. You can receive calls, you can receive text messages, you can use the mobile data on the watch without having the phone next to you. Basically you can just leave your phone at home and go anywhere you want and still get your calls and messages on the watch which is just fantastic. Uh, now let's go ahead and uh, tap on next here. You see I'm using Airtel network here in my region. It says let's get you started. I will tap on activate services. You see it straight away took me to the setup uh, mobile plan page here and it is asking me to use the current plan that I have. I will tap on and uh, meanwhile you can see I have also got a message here. Let me just open this message. It says congratulations the smartwatch has been successfully paired with your smartphone having Airtel number so and so. Now let me just go back here. I will tap on use plan. You see it is setting up the mobile plan. Uh, now just for your information in my region in India, uh, we don't have a separate uh, additional charges for the uh, LTE connection on the watch. Whatever plan we have on the phone can be activated on the uh, watch. At least with Airtel, this is the case. Now it says plan set up successfully. Now you can call, text and go online from your watch even when your phone's not with you. I'll just tap on done. Now uh, this may not be the same case with uh, the others in the other countries, other regions. You may have to buy a separate plan for uh, your watch. So that is something you should keep in mind. Now this has been set up. Now let me tap on mobile plans again. You see here it is showing me Airtel, the service provider, service state, uh, name, cancel watch data plan if you want to come and cancel it here. And I also have plan detail option right here. Now the LTE is active on the watch. Let me uh, show you that. Let's go to the uh, quick panel here. You see it is showing me LTE here. Let me just bring it close to the uh, camera here. Now the watch plan is active. We also have a full network bars right here. This is how we activate LTE on the Galaxy Watch Ultra. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. If you're interested in this wallpaper, uh, which you see here on my home screen, I've left a link for that in the description. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. If you're interested, you can go ahead and download them by checking all my previous video. I'm also posting another video, uh, the Galaxy Watch Ultra versus the Galaxy Watch Classic. Just in case if you're interested, you can stay tuned. Uh, that video is going to be very, very interesting. I'm going to tell you what are the differences between the Galaxy Watch uh, 6 classic and the galaxy watch ultra and whether you should upgrade from the classic to the ultra or not uh, i will let you know guys in the next video so stay tuned uh, that's all i have here thanks for watching my name is sally i'm signing off cheers bye bye